Company March Madness kicks off this weekend with Selection Sunday. And sports betting companies are prepping for one of the busiest parts of their season. This year, women's college basketball is drawing particular interest. What is behind this trend and who is behind the betting? Let's get to CBC's Contessa Brewer for the details. Contessa. Betting Brewer, that's me. March Madness, <laughs> Melissa, kicks off this weekend with Selection Sunday. And women's college basketball, like women's sports more broadly, is surging in fan engagement and viewership and sports betting. DraftKings told us the amount wagered or handle on women's sports has roughly quadrupled in the last three years. Even though women gamble in casinos and online in roughly the same percentages as men, when it comes to wagering on sports, American men far outnumber the women by 95 percent, according to a 2023 Eilers and Krychik research report. The American Gaming Association says mm, that number's grown. It estimates 26 percent of U.S. sports bettors are women. Penn Entertainment, of course, spent billions ditching that barstool brand with its bad boy locker room humor and relaunching as ESPN bet. And in fewer than two months, Penn boasted 35 percent more women in its digital database than in the same time period the previous year. Bet MGM says this year a 51 percent increase in, in the number of female bettors wagering on the Super Bowl. And why do you think that is, Melissa? Why? <laughs> there was a Super Bowl romance story oh. and it drove female engagement. But here's the thing. Uh -huh. Just because they try it doesn't mean they'll stay. So it's up to the mm. apps and the sports books to create uh, a product that women like. That research report, uh, the 2023 research report that you cited, do they have any information on whether or not women were better betters than men? Mm, mm. Because, so, because women, as you know, tend to be thought of as being less risk averse mm -hmm. uh, and more careful with their, say, investments. We've seen similarities there where it says right. that women say they're more comfortable with investing when they have more knowledge. And in fact, we just saw a recent research report that showed something like 20 percent of women said, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And the rest said, maybe not so much. So that's another key is how do you educate more women investors and women betters about the product so that they feel confident?